Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is the day I'm starting to plant the potatoes. I want them all in by the end of this week. I found uh, Pontiac Reds this year, which I have not been able to find for a couple of years. So I'm pretty excited about that. Although I have a, a new respect for the Norland red potato, because I got good results with those also, and good yields and big potatoes, but Pontiac Red are always my favorite. If you guys have watched my other gardening videos, I've got one that goes through the whole entire life cycle of a potato from planting to harvest. And unlike some people, I like to plant mine deep uh, because I don't have time to be hilling it all the time. Some people like to do it in buckets. Some people like to do it in tires. <laughs> Any way you can grow potatoes, grow them. It doesn't matter. This is just how I do it. Uh, compared to last year, which I talked about in the last garden video, this is a one zone different than what it is was down at the Hobby Farmhouse. But uh, I planted them last year, not here, but uh, we got potatoes, so we're gonna do good. This is a new, new ground, just tilled up this year, so I'm gonna have to deal with uh, any grass patches that regrow. But usually that first year when you till, there's so many much nutrients in the soil, it really does good. I'm planting them 18 inches apart. I'm going one spade link length deep. And I'll probably go 22 feet between the rows. It makes it a little hard for uh, weeding, but I don't know, I want to get the most amount of potatoes I can. You can take these and just cut them. As long as it has one or two eyes, you're fine. I like to plant a whole entire potato because I figure as that potato rots, it feeds the plant. I'm actually pretty excited because you guys have watched me for years grow hundreds of potatoes and this soil looks better than what was at uh, the hobby farmhouse. I'm really happy with this soil. A lot of worms in it and just looks really good. All right, the two rows of red potatoes are in. Uh, I went downstairs and looked at our ones from last year, but the eyes now are getting quite tall, and that poses a problem because you've got to bury them underground. I didn't want to go that deep, so tomorrow I'll go in and pick up some yellows or whites, whatever they are, and I really would like to find some of those purples again because we really like those. This morning I went and picked up a load of bales some of the bales in Melissa's hay bale or straw bale garden here need to be replaced. The loose ones from last year did not turn out that good, so some of them we're going to replace, so a lot of gardening videos coming up. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I will see you guys on the next video.